Motti has some lovely trees, which leads us to our final Motti Meadow secret. One of Britain's best loved paintings, The Hayway by John Constable, which was completed in 1821, features a hay wagon en route to a floodplain hay meadow. We can see in the distance workers harvesting the hay, a summer scene repeated all over the country. The large trees behind Willie Lott's cottage are black poplars, a tree once common in hay meadows. Black poplars were cultivated for their timber, which combined lightness with toughness. Its resistance to shock and splintering made it useful in the manufacture of weapons and ships' floorboards. Arrows and floorboards on Henry VIII's ship, the Mary Rose, were made from black poplar, as were some World War I rifle butts. It was also widely used in industry. But wild black poplars have suffered a severe decline, and it is estimated that only 8,000 now exist in the UK, with only 400 being female. Their decline has been caused partly by the lack of suitable wetland habitat and the removal of female trees because of their messy seeds were considered a nuisance. The extensive planting of hybrids means that the original black poplars are now unlikely to breed. Many of our wild black poplars are getting old without new generations to replace them. It is in fact one of England's rarest tree species, rarer in fact than the giant panda in China. With their overhanging branches and their rough bark, they are a stunning sight. And Wheaton Aston has at least five, four of them in Motty Meadows, black poplars, not pandas. The four large trees in the meadow are all visible from the permissive path. This one is reputed to be the largest and oldest in Staffordshire. Can we persuade Natural England to come to their rescue and find space for some more of these fantastic trees?